Now, just about a year ago, there. Hold on. Yo, what's up, fam? How you be, man? How you doing? We back again with another video, another reaction. You see, we checking out why JID wants to leave Dreamville and J Cole. Is this even true, man? Is this even true? Anyway, let's find out. Now, just about a year ago, there was no label seen as a better place to be as a hip hop artist than J Cole's Dreamville and friend. As beyond all the emerging talent, the label Harb. Hold on. There's a certain lady. I don't know if this is her. Who says she wants to live because the team has a joke or something like that but anyway you're not here for it emerging talent the label harvested all of the artists on the label were actually releasing music and being active participants in and around hip-hop culture and each time anyone came out with something new it was clear that these artists were growing and improving on their craft at a rapid rate that only few crews in this day and age could match and at the center of this all there was no one more important to the future of Dreamville than J.I.D. As between the momentum he created yeah. from his insane and dynamic array of features, which saw him team up with everyone from Eminem to Imagine Dragons, to his ability as a hitmaker, which saw him make more and more viral songs as he grew as an artist, to ultimately the fact that in an era where most new MCs just don't have the level of attention and care to create a decent... He had a good run this year. He had a good run, man. Eminem... Uh, I'm so man, he had a really good run. 21 Savage, who else? Man, he had a like really good run. It's an album that Jib made what many people would deem a modern classic in his 2022 project, The Forever Story. Overall, just in the matter of a few years, JID became one of the biggest names on the horizon in hip hop, and it seemed like with the rapid success and career growth that he has been seeing, that he would have a real chance to join rap's next big three in the near future. But now, as Jid has promised us that his upcoming new album, Forever in a Day, has been ready to release once at the end of 2023, and then mm. again at the beginning of 2024, as we are now here almost in 2025, and there has been no new Jid album since 2022. It's clear that this disappearance from Jid is not an issue surrounding his work ethic, because if it was, he wouldn't be putting out so many great features where we still hear him getting better and expanding on his craft, and he wouldn't be on major arena tours with the likes of stars like 21 Damn. Savage. And knowing all of this and seeing what's just happened, we have now found out the sad and miserable truth, which is serving as the driving force that is sabotaging the career of one of Rav's brightest new acts, which is that when it Kid comes Cardi, to the relationship damn. between Jid and the Kid Cardi, Denzel Curry. Man, he which is serving run, as the man. driving force that is sabotaging the career of one of Rav's brightest new acts, which is that when it comes to the relationship between Jid and the label that J. Cole signed him to back in the late 2010s, things have gotten really bad over there, and because of the label's own failure, Jid's chances at becoming Rav's next all-time great are slipping right as we speak. And now before we go any further, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe while you're at it, it helps me out a ton. And now, while once this situation with Jid was only something we could speculate on, as we had no is it Jid or JID, man? Definitive proof of what was happening. Recently, we have found out just how awful of a place Dreamville has become. As after seeing J Cole just have a year where, despite some high points, he has been slapped in the middle of the biggest rap beef of all time, and has only been disappointing more fans with every move he has made. We are now hearing stories of the horrors going on inside this label from some of the roster of artists who were once seen as part of the label's bright future. And now, out of everybody on Dreamville, the signee who blew the whistle on all of this was not a rapper, but was still one of the most integral members to the crew, as she added a voice and style that nobody else could offer in R&B singer Ari Lennox. And oh. now recently, Lennox came out and went on a charged up rant about the label where she said, Interscope and Dreamville have been playing with me. Oh yeah, this is it. This is the thing that I saw. Okay. Me all month and I am so exhausted. I'm so tired of people treating me like they're sorry for me. I'm okay and I've never been happier. What I don't like is being signed and lied to and manipulated. Not one person at those labels ever knew how to market or protect me. Y'all don't know the half. Constant letdown and neglect. This industry stuff will never be for me. And now Damn. with all of this, which first off, Huge respect to Ari for speaking up about how she feels about her label mistreating her because in the industry, these types of horrible situations happen way too often. And some artists either don't speak up or wait until their career is damaged in a way that they will never come back from. So with Ari taking action while she and a lot of other Dreamville signees are still prominent young names, and her revealing that the label has been lying and manipulating her and that they have not been working in her best interest, 
from speaking out about this and going as far to say that nobody on the label is protecting her, which is definitely a sub at J. Cole. To then seeing the response other people in the industry had to hearing this, which show Is J. Cole even responsible for like the management or everything? I think maybe J. Cole is just like the owner then, the PP hired people who maybe slacking on their jobs and everything like that. Anyway, every single word you sound exactly like me in 2018 when I decided to take the leap to independence. Oh, I need to talk to you. I want to at least throw out some suggestion from my experience on how I navigated from being supported by a label to fully independent. If you know T Pain, man, you know his story, man. He went bankrupt. You damn, this guy been through all. About Ari getting support from people who are veterans in the game, like T Pain. Overall, when we look at the bigger picture, it is clear that something is going on in Dreamville because from what Ari is saying here, to the claims that came out earlier about the fact that a large part of people within Dreamville were escalating and pushing J. Cole to diss Kendrick Lamar, and that this is why Cole has ended up having such an uncharacteristic year for himself. Overall, when Damn, we look man. at the weird positions everyone in Dreamville is in, everything is starting to point to the fact that whatever principles Dreamville was founded on have vanished, and just like pretty much every other great artist ran label Damn. in Eras past have, the label Nah, don't see that, man. Don't see that, man. I love Cole, Everything man. is starting to point to the fact that whatever principles Dreamville was founded on have vanished, and just like principles And don't compare Dreamville to Death Row, man. Or bad boys, man. Oh. Much every other great artist ran label in Era's past have, the label is now on a downfall. And now circling all of this back to J.I.D., when we look at his case, he only adds stronger proof to the fact that the current state of Dreamville is just a disaster right now, as when those same reports came out about the fact that J. Cole was forced to do something he never wanted to in the Kendrick beef, and that ultimately Dreamville were the ones who despised Kendrick Lamar and Top Dog Entertainment, and it never was J. Cole, and he was only following what all of the people around him pressured him into doing. J.I.D. came out to comment on all of this and didn't clear up these rumors and say that they were lies, but instead just made sure that his name was cleared of any issues when it came to a further beef between Cole and Kendrick's crews and him being caught right in the middle of it, as he said that he was never one of the guys in Dreamville who were dissing Kendrick, which oh. does imply that what was said about people pushing Cole to diss him in the first place was true. And then on top of this, Jid also said that he doesn't even hang out with people in the label anymore. Now, as Jid said all of this, but then... Is this Jid or J.I.D.? Why does he keep saying Jid, man? It's J.I.D. Or maybe I'm the one who's, who's trippy right here. Nigga, what? I don't even hang with Dreamville niggas like that. Oh, what? said that he doesn't even hang out with people in the label anymore. Now, as Jit said all of this, but then deleted these posts right Jid. after, he pretty much ended up saying more than Cole and Ari did in a lot of ways, as he is showing that on one hand. He is fed up with Dreamville and that he is moving away from associating with the crew who brought him into the major label system in the first place, but at the same time, for whatever reason, Jit is not going all out on them yet like Ari is and is not demanding to be let go from the crew. Which could be due to business reasons because as we have seen over and over again in the music business and in hip hop, so many artists are signed into shaky deals where their voice and agency when it comes to exercising their right to move on to new opportunities is limited. And now overall, while all of this may pose more questions than answers, still with the limited information that we know, it seems like between all of the turmoil in the label which has caused Ari to reveal the nasty truth, and even people like the duo who brought Jit to J. Cole in the first place in Earth Gang being gone and separated from the label yeah. as well. Well, all in all, it seems like for whatever reason, something has shaken up the way Dreamville has been run, is with J. Cole seemingly being less active in other people's careers, as he has always seen minding his own business and protecting his peace for the most part these days. And then with all of the restructuring and shakeups we have seen in the industry this year, in terms of where the staffing is going, which has directly affected labels like Dreamville. Overall, it seems like the wrong people have gotten hold of Dreamville, as J. Cole has been moving further and further away from the spotlight and from the lead role of this organization. And between Cole's oh, inability to take charge, and the way Dreamville has turned from a seemingly creative hub for some of the most gifted new hip-hop talent, to now being a sensationalist farm, where they have become more reactive to the conditions of the industry and drama of the rap and music world, over actually prioritizing the art people are creating. Overall, this is giving us the best answer to why artists like Jid and Ari's true creative visions are being shelved, and why Cole seemingly released a song like 7 Minute Drill, which he never even wanted to. 
And while we don't know the full extent of what is going on, and until these artists speak out more, we just won't have the luxury of knowing, if this amount of artists, who before this were seen as consistent and unproblematic figures, are now revealing their frustrations, which all seemingly come from the same source, something has to be off, and for the future of Jid's career as a rapper, Hopefully we can find out soon about where this is all heading, because to see someone who had all-time great potential just wasted is sad. And for J. Cole, while he may want to get away from hip-hop altogether at this point, as we await and he creates his final album, The Fall Off. At the end of the day, he did sign up to create an imprint where he wanted to help other artists grow and become stars of their own. So if Cole no longer wants to do this and handle it responsibly, he should just do it the right way and help protect the talent he was supposed to be a mentor for because the struggles that Jid, Ari, and possibly others are going through are really some of the worst things that can happen to you as a newcomer in the industry and can really rip up and destroy entire careers if not handled properly. And in an era in time, we're in a space like hip-hop, we need more rappers like J.I.D. Because everyone needs finally, to see- Finally! 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 ...going through are really some of the worst things that can happen to you as a newcomer in the industry and can really rip up and destroy entire careers if not handled properly. And in an era in time, we're in a space like hip hop, we need more rappers like hey, J.I.D. Because everyone needs to see talent who can reinvent and push forward lyrical rap into a new moment. Hopefully he can get the help he needs to push his career forward. And overall, I think the overarching message and lesson that we can get from this is that rappers need to be very careful when making their own labels and artists need to understand the risk of going on to them in the first place. Because most of the time, the artists who are signed are never gonna- Honestly, I feel like it's hard to be a rapper yourself and an artist generally and then own your own label because at that moment, you'll be taking care of your own career and yeah, res also responsible for their career, so it's it can be like a tricky one. I mean, I love Eminem, but look at Shady Records, man. Look at Shady Records. Who else, man? Uh, who else? Who else owns the label, man? Who else? Okay, I'll give like Eminem because that's the one. Eminem has Rip, has uh, Westside Boogie, he has. He had the West Side, the Griselda. He had a lot of people. Obi Trice, he had he had a lot of people under his arm. But look at 50. He's the only one that we saw and who benefited much from the label. You know what I'm saying, man? So it can be tricky, man. I don't really blame him. I feel like there's a lot going behind the scenes that we don't see in terms of like big ones manipulating the small ones or something like that you know what i'm saying man yeah and most of these artists are not only signed to one label you find out he's signed to interscope or uh sony and then he signed to like a smaller one for like you know what i'm saying a label thing is like crazy it's crazy business man if you go and do research about labels you find like labels are really really you, have, you need a publisher you need like you need a lot of things when you like damn even when you're independent, you still need someone to push your music. You're not completely independent. Unless you do directly upload to your YouTube channel and you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's tricky. The label part is really tricky, man. It's going to be a high priority and they are never going to get the love that the star does. And I think when it comes to artist labels at this point, someone like Kendrick Lamar is doing the right thing with his PG lying imprint, which only has one other signee currently in Baby Keen. Because at the end of the day, if you don't want to be a man... You see, Kendrick Lamar has baby key. The moment he tries to add more artists, he will need to like hire manager and everything like that. Which means he'll never pay attention to the other artists. ...manager and leader that will protect so many different artists people, against the alone. evil music business. Well, you just shouldn't take on such an important role in other people's careers or we get to a place like Dreamville is in right now where artists are battling for the very safety of their careers. And because of the failure of everyone involved, we don't know what the future of some of the of brightest whack. talent the music industry has had to offer over the past few years will be. And so now with all that said, let me know. What do you think about this entire situation with Jid and Dreamville? And what do you think but is going see, on behind I, the I scenes? See. And who do you think is to blame?
Now, no this situation alignment. is genuinely insane. So if you want to be updated and see how this will evolve and all end up, be sure to subscribe and leave a like so you stay up to date with all of these videos. And now if you want to see how right alongside Dreamville failing as a label, Drake's own label OVO Sound is falling apart as no one cares about his collab album with his signee party next door. Check out the suggested video. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it, man. Yeah, let me know your thoughts, man. But yeah, about for now, man.